Hi all, welcome back. Hal here with more Imperion Galactic Survival. So, <clears throat> what we're doing is this is actually the second of two videos. Um, I'm starting a new series, in case you don't want to actually watch the other video. <laughs> I'll explain what's going on. Um, I'm going to try to do one of these each week where basically I take a particular task or goal and build a ship concept to achieve that goal. So the first one, what I wanted to do was build a ship that I could use as a, uh, a portable base where I could stay out for as much longer periods of time and not have to worry about coming back to the base quite so often to do things. So uh, what I have done is, and yes, you will notice, if, like I said, if you haven't watched the first one, you will definitely see that I've added to my uh, my Let's Play base. This is all done in the Let's Play game, save game. So the idea is that these are ships that I'm going to use. Um, the, like I said, the first one was I wanted to build a mobile base, so that's what I did. As you can see, I've put a little bit of armament on it. We've got the, the rocket launcher and two of the plasma cannons. Um, We've got four of the normal thrusters providing lift for this thing, four maneuvering uh, directional thrusters providing braking retro thrust, um, as well as the anti-grade and grade thrusts. Uh, so we also have the descending using thrust uh, directional thrusters as well, and that's another four thrusters. So giving us push is four more normal thrusters. And as we come around to the back, as you can see, we've got an entrance area here going in. Uh, so the, the main idea was is that I wanted something, like I said, I could use as a base that would be securable. So if I go to a remote planet to go do some mining, or if I'm just out doing a loot run, whatever, I can actually take this with me and have pretty much everything I need. Uh, so with that in mind, what we did is we made we put an oxygen system in so that we can get oxygen either in or outside of the base. Uh, we have t uh, four pass-through storage containers, two of them being cargo boxes, two of them being refrigerated. And then when we go inside, we've got power for days. There's actually enough power uh, fuel cells in here for 400, or um, yeah, for, sorry, for 100 power uh, stacks. So we've got 10 supply, 10 of the fuel cells or fuel tanks uh, in here. We've got two of the RCSs on opposing sides and four generators, two on either side. Uh, this basically gives me a level of redundancy that makes it fairly safe. So even if I get into some heavy combat, uh, by the time I get away from the things that are attacking me, I even if I take severe damage, I should be able to get back to uh, one of the planets where I may have a base or even a star base once we've gotten to that point. So the nice thing is, is that these cargo containers are uh, reachable both interior and exterior. So if I am out looting things outside, uh, like if I'm doing mining, just I can do a pass through. And then I have a small constructor mounted in here as well. Uh, so yeah, I can actually refine resources, go out, <laughs> harvest more stuff, and keep r rinse and repeat, and just keep running it through the cycle. Um, once I've processed everything, we've got abundant storage. There are 420 storage slots. Uh, basically, there's 35 per box, and there should be 10 boxes in here, actually 12 counting the, the two in the back, to give us that total 420 storage. Um, we also have four of the refrigerator storage blocks, which gives us a total of 56 storage units there for refrigerated storage. Uh, we've got, I've already shown you the small crafting, and then we have enough oxygen for eight of the uh, oxygen tanks. In all, this gives me the ability to maintain power if I'm just sitting somewhere for almost 18 hours. <laughs> With enough oxygen to last, I think it's close to um, another 10 hours or so. Somewhere around 10 hours, I believe. So it's rather crazy. Um, <laughs> and we can reach the cockpit from inside. And when you get out, you e you'll either end up up here on the roof or you'll end up inside. It just depends on uh, what you're doing and where you're at at that point in time. So I did add the ramp to make it a little bit easier to get in and out. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing handles like a dream. It is amazing 
how the, well this thing actually ended up handling. Uh, let me show you really quick, actually. What we'll do is power this thing on. And as you can see, we've got light all over the place. If you happen to be in the back when this thing is powered on, it is bright. <laughs> and I mean blindingly bright. So as you can see, we've got a good amount of lift here. It handles fairly well. It's uh, a little bit more responsive than the escape pod. As you can see, because of the amount of RCS and uh, thrusters on this thing, it handles pretty well. The, um, its orbital rotation, eh, I, would I wouldn't mind it to be a little bit better, but for a dropship slash remote base, it's fairly Im impressive. And I, am I being shot at or is that just debris? I think it's just debris. Let's see. Yeah, it's just debris. I was going to say, I thought I had destroyed all the drones in the immediate area. Um, so yeah, this thing is, I just, I love this. I think this is going to be my new main ship, honestly. Uh, so in the, the case we do get into trouble, we have the plasma cannons, which as you can see do, uh, you know, focus down onto that single point of targeting. These things are great if you find resources that are below the surface and you need to start a pilot hole to get into them. Uh, yeah, this thing, it'll get you there. If you really need it for that, uh, in the case where you need to do a little bit heavier sniping, we do also have that rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah, this thing is so much fun. Oh, God. <laughs> if I can figure out a way to share the design, if anybody's interested, I'll be more than happy to do so. Um, I may put this up on the workshop. I don't know. I'll see what else is up there already. I'm sure somebody else has come up with designs that are similar to it. I don't know if it'll look the same, but the same concept. So if you have any uh, ideas for things that you'd like to see built or concepts you would like to see uh, try to be achieved or goals that you would try, like to try to see achieved with the ships, let me know. Uh, leave it in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do to build it. And like I said, this is in my normal uh, Let's Play. So I am using the same resources that I need to survive with and I used a lot of resource on this. Um, I think I used almost a stack of iron uh, ingots by the time everything was said and done because I had to make all of the parts. And then just to show you just how fuel efficient that thing is. So flying around, firing the weapons a couple of times. I think it's this one right No, it's one of these fuel tanks. Let's see if we can find which one it's draining here. I think it's this one? Yeah. So all of that only took four of our power cells. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's nuts. It's so much fun. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, thanks for stopping in today. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, this will be, I'm going to try to do this at least once a week. Uh, it does, it was a lot of time invested in building this thing, so I may not be able to do it every week, but I, I will try. Um, and you will get two episodes for this each time I do one. You'll get the reveal and show, which is what this episode is. And you'll also get the uh, starting on it to show what, the, what my basic concept is and some of the early build process. Because of the length of time, and I don't really want to do the time compression, I will if, you, if everyone's interested in it. Um, but for the most part, what I'll do is just show you what I'm planning on and show you the parts that I'm working with, just so you know ahead of time basically what I'm trying to get into that ship and into that build. So with that said, thank you all for stopping in. If you did like this episode and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, I do uh, ask that you subscribe, simply because of the fact that not only does it help the channel grow, but it also helps keep you informed on when new stuff comes out and when I do new, sh new shows like this. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you do have any suggestions, questions, comments, any feedback on the ship or the design you saw here, hey, leave it in the comments section below. That's what it's there for. <laughs> let's, let's let it do its job. All right, everybody. As always, take care and be safe out there.